For the first time in history, fighter jets are taking to the skies without pilots. China has just deployed the world's first unmanned stealth fighter squadron, the GJ-11 Sharp Sword, at a high-altitude base in Tibet. It's sleek, silent, and entirely AI-driven, a machine that doesn't blink or breathe, but can strike with surgical precision. How did China achieve this world first? What makes these drones so different from anything we've seen before? Let's dive in. At 12,000 feet above sea level, tucked away in the mountains of Tibet, lies Shigat's Air Base, now home to a milestone in human aviation. Satellite images confirm what defense analysts long suspected. China has operationalized the world's first unmanned stealth fighter squadron, and its name is GJ-11 Sharp Sword. The GJ-11 story began quietly in 2018, when early prototypes were first spotted on Chinese runways. At the time, most experts thought it was an experimental drone, a proof of concept for future stealth technology. But fast forward to today, and that prototype has evolved into a fully deployed fighter unit, ready for missions where no human pilot could safely go. Its tailless flying wing design, reminiscent of the US B-21 Raider, gives it a radar signature smaller than a bird on an enemy's scope. This shape isn't just for stealth, it's also aerodynamically efficient, reducing drag and noise while maximizing endurance. Each GJ-11 is semi-autonomous for now, operating under the command of twin-seat J-20 stealth fighters. Imagine that, a human pilot directing multiple unmanned jets in formation, like a commander orchestrating a symphony of AI aircraft. In the future, those same drones are expected to fly with full autonomy, using advanced onboard AI to make split-second decisions in combat. This isn't just another upgrade in military hardware, it's a shift in philosophy. The deployment marks the first time a nation has replaced human pilots with an AI-driven fighter fleet. It's the aviation equivalent of going from horses to rockets, a transition from human limitation to algorithmic precision. The sharp sword is more than a drone, it's a symbol. It represents China's determination to lead the next revolution in aerial warfare, not by copying others, but by redefining what fighter jet even means. And while the rest of the world is still testing prototypes, China's unmanned squadron is already airborne. So what makes the GJ-11 Sharp sword so advanced and so feared? Let's start with stealth. The aircraft's flying wing structure minimizes radar reflections from almost every angle. It's coated with radar-absorbing materials and carries its weapons internally, ensuring no external drag or detectable signature. Even infrared sensors have a hard time spotting it. It's practically a shadow gliding across the sky. Then comes the firepower. Though the full weapon's loadout remains classified, analysts believe the GJ-11 can carry PL-15 and PLXX long-range air-to-air missiles, capable of striking targets well beyond visual range. Add to that cruise and anti-radiation missiles, and you've got a multi-role unmanned fighter, one that can hunt aircraft, suppress enemy radar, or perform deep strike missions. What's even more impressive is its AI coordination system. Picture AJ-20 pilot controlling an entire formation of GJ-11S. The pilot gives strategic commands, and the AI on board each drone executes tactical maneuvers independently. They can fly in formation, switch targets mid-air, or even sacrifice one unit to protect the rest, all without direct human input. This system blurs the line between pilot and programmer. It turns air combat into a hybrid of strategy and code, where data, not reflexes, decides who wins. There's also a cost advantage. Without pilots, cockpits, or life support systems, unmanned jets are lighter, cheaper, and require far fewer training hours. The maintenance cycle is shorter, and the risk factor, human loss, drops to zero. But even the sharp sword has its limits. Current AI still struggles with unpredictable combat situations where instinct and improvisation matter. Its sensors can't yet match the human eye for situational awareness. That's why China's current strategy keeps human pilots, the J-20s, in command positions, while GJ-11S handle execution. Still, one thing is certain. When a stealth jet can think, react, and strike faster than a human, that's not just a weapon, that's evolution. 
The deployment of the GJ-11 isn't just a milestone for China, it's a wake-up call for the world. For decades, military dominance was defined by how many skilled pilots a country could train, how many fighters it could build, and how advanced its sensors were. But now, China has changed the equation. It's no longer about pilots, it's about processors. By fielding the world's first unmanned stealth fighter squadron, China has effectively jumped several steps ahead in what experts call the AI arms race in the sky. Other nations, including the United States, are experimenting with programs like Skyborg and the Loyal Wingman, but none have reached operational readiness. China didn't just test, it deployed. This shift could redefine air combat strategy. Instead of sending two or three fighters into a contested zone, future missions might involve swarms of unmanned jets flying in coordination some gathering intelligence, others jamming radar, and a few striking high-value targets. The cost advantage makes it even more disruptive. For the price of a single manned fighter, China could field multiple GJ-11S, overwhelming defenses through sheer volume and precision. It's not hard to imagine a future where a handful of human commanders oversee hundreds of AI-controlled aircraft, forming an aerial network of eyes, wings, and weapons. And this is only the beginning. China's next project, the Dark Sword, promises higher speeds, sharper maneuverability, and near-complete autonomy. If the GJ-11 is the opening act, the Dark Sword could be the headliner, a machine that learns, adapts, and fights almost like a living entity. To military strategists, this isn't just about technology, it's about time. Every year of AI progress could widen the gap between traditional air forces and those embracing autonomy. In the long run, Countries that fail to adapt risk being digitally outmaneuvered, not just outgunned. The skies of the future may belong to those who can teach machines to think, decide, and dominate faster than any human ever could. But with this leap comes the inevitable question, how far can we trust machines in war? When an AI drone decides to engage a target, who's accountable, the code or the commander? These are questions that no nation has truly answered yet. Still, one fact stands tall above all. The race for air supremacy has officially entered the age of artificial intelligence. And for now, China's sharp sword is leading the charge. The deployment of the GJ-11 sharp sword marks the dawn of a new era, one where pilots no longer sit in cockpits and battles unfold faster than human reaction. The world's first unmanned stealth fighter squadron is not just a technical feat. It's a declaration that the sky itself is changing hands, from flesh to firmware. China's move places it years ahead in autonomous aerial warfare, setting a precedent no other nation has yet matched. With the sixth-generation fighter also nearing readiness, China may soon dominate both sides of the equation, the human and the machine. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.